What's up? Welcome back to the channel. I haven't seen you guys all year. So let's start off this video by wishing all of you a very happy new year. Now, sorry for the absence. I've been busy doing not much actually. Just like all of you, it was the Christmas period and I felt like relaxing. So yeah, as many of you already know, this year has started off fairly cold because it's been raining non-stop all day, er day, every day. So what do you do when you're feeling cold? That's right, you put on a jacket. So in similar fashion, no pun intended, we will be starting off this year with a warm or hot dish. So in today's video, we will be making jacket or baked potatoes. As usual, begin by getting your hands on some nice potatoes. I prefer using a starcher potato such as a russet or a desiree as these have lower moisture content and are better for mash or fluffy baked potatoes. If yours aren't pre-washed like the ones I have here, make sure to wash them thoroughly. Part of a good baked potato is a light crispy skin and you don't want any dirt on it for obvious reasons. Once you're done cleaning your potatoes, we can move on to the easy part which is baking the spuds. Now there are a few ways of preparing them for their fiery demise, each with a slightly different result. You can wrap them in foil just like this. You can place them in a bed of salt, which I'm not going to do because I'm just not a fan. You can also leave them as is, which is perfectly fine. Or you can use my recommended method, which is to lightly roll them in some salt water before placing them into the oven. This not only lightly seasons the skin, but also helps it dry out, preventing it from becoming chewy and rubbery. Place your potatoes into a preheated oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Potatoes of different sizes will obviously cook at different rates, so keep that in mind. While they are baking, let's make some fancy butter to go with it. Yes, I know the correct term is compound butter, but butter is actually a mixture and so is compound butter. So instead, let's just stick to calling it fancy schmancy butter. All this entails is mixing some softened butter with some herbs or other ingredients and seasoning it nicely. You want to let your butter sit out the fridge for a little while before doing this. If not, good luck trying to mix a solid block of butter. Your butter should be soft but not melted. Here I went with some leftover basil so I chopped up a few leaves and mixed it in. Toss your herbs into the butter, season with salt and pepper and replace it into the fridge to chill. You can even roll it into a tube using some cling film but I was just too lazy to do that. Other ingredients you can add to your butter include shallots, thyme, reduced red wine, blue cheese, chives, MSG, etc, etc, etc. The list just goes on and on. Also, for obvious reasons, if you're using salted butter, then you may want to skip the extra salt. Once your potatoes are cooked, remove them from the oven to cool slightly before handling. You can test if your potatoes are done in a number of ways as well. The first is the age-old I'm gonna wing it method, which involves guessing when said potatoes are done. If you are a seasoned chef, then by all means go for it. But then again, if you were one, you probably wouldn't be watching this video unless you really liked me of course. The second method involves piercing the potato with a fork or any other sharp object. If it slides right in, then it's good to go. Finally, you can also use a thermometer which I still highly recommend because of its versatility. If the internal temperature reads about 95 degrees, you're good to go. Yes, I know some of you still read things in Fahrenheit, so just convert it by googling it. Also, as most of you already know, water boils at 100 degrees, so if you're ever served a cold or room temperature baked potato, you can be pretty sure it's been sitting around on a kitchen counter for a very long time. While your potatoes are cooling, brush them lightly with some olive oil and return them into the oven for a final 10 minutes. This helps crispen up the skin slightly. Once that's done, remove them from the oven, cut into them, fluff them up a bit to remove some steam and serve it with your condiment of choice. You can go with some sour cream and chives, cheese or your compound butter. Serve it as soon as possible, though be careful not to burn yourself while eating it. And there you have it, how to make baked potatoes. As you can see, there are a number of ways you can bake a potato. Just don't use the microwave because you'll end up with a rubbery skin which is generally not nice to eat. Also, I know what some of you are thinking, where are the bacon bits? Now I actually forgot to cook them before I baked the potatoes, so instead I decided to teach you guys how to make your own bacon bits in the next video. So stay tuned for that. But that's it for today. 
If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, you know what to do. Like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. We are that close to 400 subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other dishes you like to see, what other recipes you like to learn, or what other products you'd like me to review. But for now, I'll say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.